Hello, today's video is going to be on watermelon. I've had a request for it, so I'm going to demo how I do a watermelon tea. So to start with, I have a shirt that's been soaked in soda ash, it's been spun out so it's slightly dry. That's my preferred uh, way of folding them. And then the next thing I do, it's been completely folded in half, front and back. So this is going to be two-sided watermelon piece. Um, I'm going to draw a line from the armpit down to the center of the tee. So this is going to be the middle of your t-shirt. All the way down to the bottom. So this here is going to be my slice of watermelon. That's the point. And then I draw just kind of a, a little bit of an arc there. Straighten that arc out up top here. So this here is going to be my watermelon piece. I'm going to tie this up. The top part is going to be my rind. It's an extra thick rind, but that's okay. And then I'll dye this here a different color, maybe in turquoise or something. But this here will be my piece of watermelon. So I'm going to do two different folds on this and tie them both up right there. So I'm going to start out with the, the long fold. We're just going to do an accordion fold all the way up. And this is the main reason I go up to the armpit because then I can do two folds. So I can tie this one off, then I can fold this, and I can tie that one off. So I'm going to use my sinew. I have it on one of these little dowels here. And this I got from Nicolay Saban on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description in case you want to order yourself one. But this here is a nice way to hold your sinew. It's nice hardwood and it's shaped just really nice for your hand. It fits nicely in my hand for pulling. So I like that for my sinew. So I'm going to wrap this around right there at my line. Wrap it around three times. And then I'll pull it tight. And I usually will pull it a little bit tight to start with. And then I just hold it down when I pull tight with my dowel here. That's the nice thing. Is you can hold that in place and you can grab this here. The main thing is not to have the sinew coming over top of your hand. So I got it just in between my fingers here. So that when I pull I'm not getting any pressure on my hand at all. And this one here just holds it flat and in place. And then that gives me a nice tight pull on my sinew. This here is my starting tail so I'm going to cut that one off so I don't get confused. Whenever I'm done pulling with the sinew, I like to leave a nice long tail. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, I put a tail on it. I usually will tie it in a knot so that I can find it easily. And that way I can unwrap that. So now we're going to tie up the other one. So we're going to do the same type of folding. Just accordion folds all the way up, just keeping the lines nice and straight on the top. This is a little trickier getting the sinew in there, but it can be done. So I'm going to hold it here, and then I'm just going to wrap it all the way around and under here to get it right in that place right there. So we'll 
wrap it around twice, give it a little pull to tighten it, and then I'll wrap it another time, and then we'll cinch it down. And if you find it slips, then just wrap it another time or two, because it doesn't always want to grab. I'll wrap this two more times. And then I pull it, yeah, then you get a nice tight pull on that. Okay, now we'll cut this one off. Once again, leaving a little bit of a tail. And then I'm going to switch over to my kite string. So I'm going to scrunch, I got three different parts. This part here in the middle where my point was is going to be my melon. So I'm going to dye that in two shades of pink. This here is going to be just the outer edge. I'm going to dye that in turquoise just so that it can be its own thing. So I'll scrunch it up first. And then of course the top part is where my rind is going to be. And what I'm going to do is scrunch this up, dye it green. I'm going to leave I mean the sinew is going to leave a little bit of a white line. I'm going to leave just a little bit more white space just to give it that feel of the watermelon rind. Okay, there's my melon. So one easy way to remember, I got the collar right here, so I know this here is my green. So I'm going to use two shades of green on there. And then my melon right here, I'm going to use mostly light pink, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of the darker pink on top. And for this, I'm going to use turquoise, just so that it's a little bit different. So this here is how I dye the watermelon. Let me put some gloves on. Okay, here we go with the turquoise. So I'm going to go right up to that line, but make sure that the t-shirt isn't touching there. Another thing you can do right along the sinew line is just put a little bit of water, thickened water or just plain water, and that will help keep the dye from wanting to spread quite as much to areas you don't want it. Okay, and there's the watermelon tea. I'll be back after it's sat up for 48 hours. I'll wash it and then I'll post the results. So stay tuned. I almost forgot the watermelon seeds. So let's zoom in just a little bit. Let's see if I can move this up and arrange this. So on the pink part, I have my thickened black dye and what I'm going to do is just put a few dots on here just to give me the watermelon seeds. Well not a few, I'm going to do a bunch. And this is something you can do afterwards. This is the thick dye so it's not going to spread too much. Right now I can see it's sitting almost 3D-ish on here. 
but it will slowly sink in and this will give me all of the little watermelon seeds Put a little bit bigger dots Okay, I think we've got enough seeds. What I'm going to do is let wait until I see this soak in all the way, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And then I'll post the results. Thank you for watching. Please like and share my videos.